Right, so it's the 14th of uh, the 11th, 2024, and we start off with, uh, yeah, he's getting smashed in. Fucking child rap rapist. He knows he's a fucking murderer. Getting a break in. Getting a break in. Fucking dangerous as anything Justin said. And this stupid, dry and sarcastic, small minded, fucked up, snobby accent. Gunshot, definitely having a break in, Justin said. Right, I'm going to have to flip through these, they're not in order. I'm having very hard difficulty uh, explaining this morning's problems. There's a lot to go through, I mean a lot to go through. It's been a very bad night, especially from 2.10am. Right, it's a boner eight times loud bike. Seagull says, hey, your liver's gone. Yes, just a uh, little. Yeah, he's getting smashed in, fucking child rapist. He knows he's a fucking weirdo. Dangerous as anything, Justin said. A gunshot in the building. Definitely having a break in, Justin said. Wet bobas was dangerous. Uh, smack. Hang on. Smack him in the side. I can't remember what I written. That has not written it down properly. Shooting you down, Justin, at your door. Gun sound made by neighbour. Life's gone, you weasel. Said. Animal sounds and making instant death noises. I think this sheet might have been yesterday. I'm not sure. But whatever she did is, has not been read out yet. Being shot dead, said. Choked by catalyst. Started vehicle. Cell calls at me. Sick cut middle aged lady. That's all he should, he's going to get, said by a teenage couple. Choked by catalyst. Bird tweets running nose. Ever so unlucky, Justin. Being shot dead. Sad cunt. Use public transport. Stab you with age, said. Choked by catalyst. Sick cunt just being knifed. Bashing you in, Justin. Um, 15 loud bikes wanking and coming in a deliberate pattern to the, the time period of while I was doing that. Right, penis ups and motorbike revs being molested, sexually played with, play school. Right, wet bow whistled, uh, um, was something whistled, I can't, I didn't write it down. Molested Sadie, play school just said when I've never had sex or never molested her. Right, uh, Josh shot dead, fell stupid, guess what Josh? One shot, try blowing the place up with diesel, Justin said. Sicko, just lose your eyesight, said. And then my name again, Justin. You're actually being shot down, Justin said. You shouldn't be walking past the play school, just said. Gunshot sounds, not very safe to be here, Justin. Shot de de dead, molested Sadie, sick cunt. And then I go to the communal garden and someone's knocking on their windowsill. Um, so it's on one of the top floors, uh, it's uh, the only Shannon and Sam on that side of the building. And so I'm not exactly sure who made them sound, unless it, but that's where it's sort of coming from. And it was to say, um, you're being shot dead, you're a sick cunt, you raped Sadie, and you're having a fucking break in. So, I don't know who was doing that, but that's what was banged. When I was in the communal garden, dead was shouted. Dead meat stabbing with HIV needle said. Uh, I'm not sure where that came from. I had my headphones on at that time because I was in the garden having a smoke and a fag. And that would have been at um, just gone midnight, something like that. 2.10 a.m. There's quite a, a bit of time where there's not too many problems. So well over an hour. Um, the smell of shit occurs again. So as the smell of shit occurs, I get very annoyed by it and I have to open all my windows and experience a very cold night because uh, no one's flashing the loo and I think it's being caused by Morgan who nicknames himself Jess who's um, one of the newer neighbours because the smell of shit in the building wasn't occurring until he moved there. So then I had uh, some gritty eyes and the burning sensation started to occur as well. So um, that takes you until I fall asleep. I woke up a couple of times in the night and these are the threats that I heard. Justin having a break in stole Sam's push bike, which is not true. Um, eight times loud bike time to an erection. Um, then there's some banging to say I'm fucking breaking in just, having a fucking break in you pedo. Uh, that was shouted outside. Having a fucking break in Justin stole Sam's bike said. And then there was gunshot Sam, which um, I can't remember if that's inside or outside, that one. In total, there was roughly about um, 
there's about 80 bangs to say that I'm breaking in before I left and I was only up about 45 minutes before I left to go out. I woke up a few times earlier in the morning someone had a drum kit outside and they were drumming. I wasn't up that long to listen to what they were drumming or whatever as I fell back asleep but uh, when I woke up the second time there's a lot of aggressive shouting and a lot of bad behaviour including those uh, bangs of roughly 70 bangs before I left and when I went to close the window the workers at the back of my place were saying he's having a fucking break and he's a child rapist you're going to be fucking smashed in and injected with fucking snake venom or something like that and then obviously you had uh, threats with a knife as well which was uh, short lived because I wasn't there very long but I had to leave later than anticipated because uh, water has filled up in the washing machine condensation has caused the uh, stagnant water to occur in the washing machine and I've had to switch it on to let that go but it keeps coming back because of the temperature so I'm a bit annoyed by that right now to going out uh, the saddles are very heavy this morning so we've got a mental case Justin knife him right in said because um, obviously they like timing these rough types of people in my direction and that's exactly what they're doing no matter what day I go out what time I go out they've stepped up all this action of controlling everyone's movement around me to be as heavy as malicious and as hectic as they can possibly cause it so we have a Duffield's uh, vehicle a started car and in the midst of that walk into that road to save state in every single car you had definitely had the knife shaped you definitely had the 1940s gun looking car you had the sexual cars you had the black and blue and sick white and whatever all those were counted for of, about, of a couple of hundred possibly more um, there was a police siren and that police siren that just occurred reminded me of that so um, the other thing that I saw was um, sexual beauty t-shirt and uh, a nope t-shirt I'm not sure if I've actually got a photograph of that one I've got to check my camera on that um, and I don't think I've got the other one though two cell calls at me four cell calls at me and then six cell calls at me with spit talking and then three cell calls at me after that there was two cell calls at me sexual conversation on the phone at me by the next cell call and then another two cell calls at me and then a phone call rings at me after that there's three cell calls in my way um, three, three started cars and a car reversing at me and a car trying to hit me because I wouldn't move off the path there was a Gemma Ferguson lookalike um, then I reoccur and walk into that person with a nope top N-O-P-E to, to apply no um, after that there's three cell calls in my direction and two cell calls I've lost count of what happened after that um, in farm foods they were saying that I couldn't make out what was being said but they said it's on CCTV camera and they're sort of making the suggestion or applying that I was stealing or something like that which is not true because it'd be on CCTV camera yeah but what happened was I lost I dropped a five out of my pocket and I didn't realize it and uh, going back I think it was on Saturday I went into farm foods and they said that's yours so whether that fell out of my pocket or what's happened I do not know but I, I somehow I lost a fiver so I'm grateful that they gave that gave gave it me back but I can't understand what the change in attitude is today of the suggestion that they're applying there so I made it to the catalytic converter hot point they have timed the car obviously which leaves a catalytic converter choking stench so I get across um, so let's continue with the rest of the walk shall we as I walk out of um, out, um, farm foods um, firstly there's uh, a person that sneezes in my face and then there's um, a lady that's uh, full of chicken pox um, 
in some ways she looked very similar to Gemma Ferguson but slightly younger, uh, lesser smooth skin and more negative appearance. Um, a car's cut me up to stop me from going anywhere, forcing me to actually have to walk past that person, controlling the traffic movement around me to stop me going anywhere. As they're doing that, um, they're basically making insults or suggestions to apply my father. I won't go into the details of what they're suggesting because it's far-fetched. They shouldn't be doing this, but that's what they're applying. Um, so, I um, couldn't go behind because at the time I tried turning around to go behind, there's a couple of people that were just coughing and sneezing, doing sneeze, 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 like that. So I had to face that person. And then obviously after the setup I just mentioned, because I won't go into details because it's a little bit far-fetched, um, you had a couple of animal voice sounds and the crows going ha 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 and whatever. Uh, so you had black and blue sick white, black and blue sick white tined, sexual car, choked by catalyst, drain covers hit over, seagull says everyone's 60, you sick cunt. So obviously the seagull doesn't know what my age is. Uh, so then on the, um, when I get to the next stage, I'm passing a couple of rough people. Um, just get my bearings a second. Um, so, um, yeah, that's right. Get a bit further along. Obviously, it's black, sick, black and blue, white cars stopping me because I was on the phone to staff at supported housing at that time. I was being choked by a catalyst. Then there's rough people time photographing me, thinking I'm Savan and saying he's being fucking smashed in and fucking beaten to death on sexuality in conversation not as a threat and obviously I had to be photographed there's no choice in the matter I couldn't do nothing because I was on the phone uh, going over the uh, bridge uh, there's a control of movement colliding cars on either side uh, so I did struggle but I have known it a lot lot worse and here and there you had a black sick or black and blue car on the road while documenting some of this information that I'm mentioning now while walking in the woodland area. At uh, the catalytic converter hot point you have one car uh, that occurred just before I reached that caused the choking catalytic converter stench and then obviously we have the start of all these animal sounds that's just started to occur now while I'm on this path and that is uh, to say shag and I won't say the, the, what, what it's saying and to say you're being shot dead and many other different sounds I need to listen and I'll keep you updated on that right seagulls birds or whatever are saying being shot dead there's no one left and saying you're having a break in Justin and saying that I'm being knifed down and this has occurred about 120 times roughly since the last recording that I've done and also someone says say cunt you're going to jail mate Taking away the Saturday that's just gone, they've broken the record for a specific type of setup that they've been uh, uh, force enforcing on me. And that's causing everyone's movement to be as hectic and as heavy and as packed as possible to control everybody around me in a mass so that when you try to cross the road, they're cutting you up with a car to try and smash you up, timing someone down an aisle to sneeze in your face, but not just one aisle, every aisle of every shop you go into. And obviously, Controlling your movement on the path, change you in about 100 or 200 directions every time you go out because of how heavy this action is, where they're controlling your movement in a fucked up way, fucking up your w walking pattern, fucking up what you do, diverting you, doing this, doing that. Because they've done this for 30 days solid, apart from the uh, Saturday that's just gone, that's record breaking, including in the Christmas time periods of all years of the past. In the last 30 days, they've set up this action the heaviest they have ever done it in one go at one time before there's been some for form of uh, respite from it so that's record breaking believe it or not so that's how nasty they're getting now obviously this is not record breaking for the type of setups like the wording for vehicles or people sneezing in my face or threats or anything like that or, like back, li or loud bikes to erections this is for the way they're controlling everyone's movement to be hectic and busy and heavy as hell around me. That is record breaking in the last 30 days because it's happened for 30 days apart from that Saturday. Right so just to uh, let you know there's been a few more voice sounds from animals, there's been a couple of threats, uh, I just want to mention the weather for the um, 
14th of November 2024. Well, basically, it's been cloudy near enough right until I reached Barrack. And um, now it's gone into hazy sunshine. But the bad news is, is um, the um, sky's opened up. So it's about 10 miles in length and about a mile to two miles in uh, wide. And it's being purposely caused in a way where the sun is being angled through that open gap to shine down on me where everywhere else is cloudy. They're going fucking heavy with us. Hang on, the fuck is so down the street. Penis up, Mike. Uh, up, sorry, motorbike. Pro ha. Right, so let me just read this fucking page out. So, sexual excited penis impulses. It's a loud bike. That's not that one, this is another one. Um, under armour top, two rough people my way. Lots of activity, lots of cars on the road. Forced cut aside to let a van through so I don't run over my toe. Um, choked by catalyst. Uh, lots of people doing garden work or restoration or stuff like that. Right, so I'm choked by catalytic converter, more of it. Uh, time to the exact millisecond. Uh, uh, a grey car or grey sexual car from behind, time to be smashed right over that drain cover, time to the split second I pass it. Because the government want to, or the creator god wants to turn my life down the drain. And then after that, not just a choking catalytic converter stench, an extreme fucking full 100% fucking smoke in my fucking nose being choked to fuck with a catalytic converter. Like the smell of vinegar mixed with the smell of rubbing two stainless steel knives against garden grass. Penis up. No, sorry. Uh, two white vans, a cardo van, and then penis up, an eight times loud bike time to a sexual excited penis is in my fucking penis again. And then obviously the bike that occurred that I mentioned like just now. Right, so I'm waiting in the graveyard because I've got an appointment. Now, obviously, I've mentioned the uh, creepy atmosphere that's been occurring at night when I've passed this graveyard on many occasions in recent times, especially over the last month or so. Um, well, the atmosphere is actually giving it some at the moment. Obviously, it's not intense, but you can feel that there's something there, so... And that's in the day, so that's quite interesting. Well, they lied on the forecast. It's turned out a sunny day. Right, so, obviously, there's been another loud bike to an erection of crow. Ha ha ha. You're a dead cabbage, said bow whistles, lots of popping bow whistles and a load of animal voice sounds which has come to a sudden stop as soon as I push record. Right, so I just had a 20 to 25 minute appointment with uh, the social, well not the social worker she couldn't make it, but the uh, mental health worker and uh, it turned cloudy in the time period that I was speaking to her. Just two minutes after she left the cloud opened up into blue skies and sunshine again. <laughs> Right, so they timed another seven loud bikes tied to an erection. Because obviously the warmer weather's coming out, it's sort of causing erections and, you know, and crows going ha ha ha. Right, so. Right, it's come to a. Right, so a crow's just been saying, shag, shag, shag your had, had. Or, or something like that. Right, so. Obviously, while I was in the um, meeting, uh, just before this, someone in the van said, always out in the sunshine, high-minded prick. Well, that's because they're causing it to be sunny, and I'm not one for the sunshine, but obviously the sun's causing a lot of fucking trouble, I tell you that. Anyway, there's a loud bike to an erection before the seven I mentioned. Dog bark shot their child molester just. AA learner car, Abri van. Two loud bikes to erection. And again, that's before the seven bikes that I mentioned. And then you've got what I uh, have already mentioned. So that completes everything that's occurred to this minute in time. The Jehovah or Yahweh is causing these animals to talk in this fucking crooked fucking way. It says on Wikipedia, a site on the internet, to get information that Jehovah is the one, or Yahweh, God of the Holy Bible, is the one that actually sets demons on people. So when I'm getting this unhappy feeling, it looks like God huh, choosing to victimise me when I've done nothing wrong. 
Anyway, a crow's been saying shot down Justin. A crow says molested by negative attraction. Uh, so basically what I said earlier, uh, just a repeat of telling me to fuck people that rape me as a child, telling me I'm being knifed dead, being beaten to fucking death, having a break in, being injected with snake venom with HIV, and being raped and ripped to pieces again in my next life, basically. God's not as uh, friendly as you think, especially when it comes to cursing animal voice sounds. Pee the father, dribbling bow whistles. Gotta put up with that. Someone just pisses at me bow whistling. So we have black and blue medicrit penis up motorbike timed. And uh, the record breaking amount of cars, I can't remember what it is, but you had about 50 on average timed. Right, they're getting nasty, the government. So obviously it's a sexual day, it's sunny. Choked by catalyst, so there's grey sexual motorbike in my direction, tying to an erection. And then a um, sexual, uh, sorry, a drain cover hit over by a car. Then a black car. And then a blue knife shaped fucking car because the government want me fucking knife to fucking death. They don't want to fucking get nasty when I get violent. Nothing I can do about it. Right, so that's the 13 catalytic converter that's pulled up to me or been started as a cast. Pass. Right, so another black and blue load of vehicles pass after that. Uh, 20 more vehicles all over drain cover, every single one of those cars. Uh, choked by catalytic converter, grey, grey, sick, orange, red, rack, valentine. Smash you to pieces, rubble, smashing flatbed and sexual car time and sick white. I struggled to uh, go in the shop properly because I went down 14 aisles in total. They were stopping me get down each and every single aisle and even at a checkout going where the chocolate was and all the rest of it, I struggled to get served there as well. Uh, not served. Fucking catalyst. <laughs> yes, Christ. It is a problem, isn't it, Downing Street, the order created God. You can't do nothing without being fucking forced control around you, packing packing everything around me in a controlled pattern, Downing Street. And that's the fucking love creator, you fucking evil bastard. Anyway, uh, just to let you know that it's opening up into blue skies and sexual weather quite literally everywhere, so everyone's going to get the sun now. Right, someone's accidentally sneezed at me. It's not record breaking for the um, very first time I went down there, but it's um, record breaking for the amount of traffic for the first time I went down there, which is four times over the very first time I went down there on this sunny day, that hot sunny day. Right, so there's been 16 cars that have reversed or been stopped, alright? And uh, there's been a load more over drain cover. Crow says, or bird tweets, you fucked Amy Weston, you're a dangerous paedophile, Justin. Right, so there's been another four cars, choked by catalyst, and then now there's a starter car, and obviously the person heard the voice sound from the animal, so um, I need to get past here. Right, so I've been photographed and they're choking by the catalytic converter this side. I mentioned already on this recording that the last 30 days, apart from the Saturday just gone, is record breaking for the amount of havoc and as much trouble or as many people as they can possibly f cram into my direction to shit stir or cause trouble or to do whatever. It's record breaking already and they're going on fucking continuing it with it. Crow says you're having a sick cunt burg uh, sorry, no, someone says you're having a sick cunt burglary, and Crow goes, ha, 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 ha. Going back to the incident that happened just before this, someone said, I can't remember what the person said now, but saying that they heard that, that what the animal said when it came to the Amy Weston threat. Hi. The government are causing extreme fucking havoc. I mentioned this earlier. 30 days in a row, apart from this Saturday, they've been controlling everyone's movement to force everybody into my direction, around me, to cause as much inconvenience, as much congestion, and as much trouble, and as much attempts to cause violent attacks, or whatever you want to call it, or to cut me up on every corner, 
as they've ever done in the whole history of these malicious evil setups that are being enforced on me. They're doing it again today. Anyway, reaching that road, the road that I've, uh, would, I've been, been on the phone to my mum. So firstly we had a black white car tied, black and white, then we had a grab lorry. I reached the road and when I reach that road there's over a hundred vehicles in a matter of just a few minutes if that. Because of the hundred vehicles or whatever it's, it's caused me to have to cross, go back the other side, to reverse and go back in the field, to go back to the road again, to go back into the field and then to do exactly the same for a third time. And then after that they time a car to cut me up to smash my legs off while I try crossing as I try jumping the gun and with an unexpected car coming in, turning up the road that I go into. After I do that I try to get to the pathway so I go to a track and then there's a bike that's trying to smash into me. So I walk behind and then I didn't see people walking behind and they were trying to sneeze in my face and they did. So I told them to watch where they're sneezing and they just their, their faces dropped and they started having a, a groan to each other about what I said. And so I went to go to the road and then there's a lorry that was stopping me and forcing me back in the other direction to go back into the field that I came by him initially but before I got to that field they timed some people to come out the pathway as I went to reverse back, uh, sorry, to walk back the other way and have obviously the road because it's like a sharp, sharp corner road the people on the road couldn't see me so a car was timed to smash into me on the road as I was going back to go back in the field to let the lorry pass before I could get back on the road. So when I did get back onto the road uh, the traffic started to drop a little bit and then obviously there was about another 20 more cars after that and then I reached out road again and they did exactly the same as what they did the first time around and that's to try and cut my legs up causing a car to come round at speed to go up that road that I was in, got, uh, sorry crossing. Then after that, because the flow was a bit more freer, I managed to get to the pathway again and yet there's another bike, tying to an erection, that, that was trying to smash into me again and this person was a little bit more nasty about it. And then when I reached the road, there's several more cars that occurred when I reached the main road and they stopped me crossing to try and force uh, another person to go in front of me to go out the track that I'm walking up now so I have to jog to get in front of them so that I can walk freely leaving those people behind to avoid anything like sneezing, coughing or whatever. Right, sorry, I bet popping bow whistles. Bird says child molester just. Fit girl just. Um, crow says fuck da. Dog barks knife dead. Bird tweets to say so sick dead. Itchy bum holds a loud bike. Police siren has to say weirdo twice. Bird says sad, itchy bumhole bonus and bonus so loud bike. Bird tweets child molester just raped her. Penis shoes up the bike. A loud bike that is. And then there's a photo taken of me and dead spastic said by an old chap with a red jumper a coat on. Right, so I've come to the bottom of the uh, the end of the road. Every single road, every corner, there's gonna be a car. Almost every house except this row here. In fact. Right, so the last five minutes I've been choked out by a catalytic converter. I've been forced to divert several more times. The initial car that slowed down actually reversed at me before another car overtook and choked me out with a catalytic converter. Then I was forced down the next road, so as I was timed out the next road, a car was timed out to hit me and I went to go down there. Choked out by catalyst and a drive, uh, a car comes out trying to hit into me unexpectedly again. So then I turn around to go back and then there's a car that reverses out another drive and I'm being choked out by a catalytic converter. And then there's a motorbike tying to an erection before two cars choke me out with a catalytic converter and then there's a knife shaped car in my direction. The person that um, I was mentioning earlier has decided to be timed again because obviously the government or the creator god's a buckled bastard. Well, obviously he's talking on the phone saying that, um, that I'm being shot dead and as he passed me he said gone, gone. So I said what? He says talking to him, go on. Meaning he's talking to a dog.
So yeah, this is another government fucking hit. Black car, nice shape, white and red on that road over there as I just uh, went to go and have a rest. I'll have to go to the brigade on this side then, won't I? Create a god, you fucking evil, twisted, sexual, slaughter, fucking tear away. Right, 50 cars plus on this fucking road. Now that car starts in that farmhouse with an overhanging trailer on one van, trying to rip my fucking legs off. So, the government again, bitterly, bitterly fucking spiteful at the moment. Right, so, the dog barked, knife him dead. There's been knife you dead, dog barks. And possibly bow whistle, but it could be a dog bark that's in a whistly pattern. Um, but like I said, the government has stepped this action up and it's just going to get worse and worse. Unless if it's not caused by the government, it's caused by the creator god that's a vicious bastard. That's a fucking tear away, fucking sexual slaughter, fucking tear apart. One of the two. The walk I've done this evening I probably won't be doing again because it's a very long way to walk. And I'm only doing this because I had a meeting with the um, uh, mental health worker. Um, I did find an old street light, an old fashioned Victorian one. That's uh, been... Um, put into a 1950s, uh, well it could be a 1950s pole, but the pole looks so old and that, older than that. But unfortunately I had to do it with the sun out, but luckily the sun was behind the cloud in the time I pictured it and I managed to get a hazy, a sort of dull evening lighting down effect to it, which is nice. I might stick with that one. Uh, I took a picture of a house again clouds the preference in weather for these sorts of pictures but you can't get the cloud anymore so you've got to make do a second best Yahweh's being evil causing the dog to bark just in getting a break in but once it's sort of said all that or barked all that just telling me to fuck people that rape me as a child telling me that you're having your fucking life ripped to pieces and being fucking raped as a baby in your next life so obviously the creator gods is just absolutely fucking menace I just want to quickly say, on this road that I'm, because the field, I've done this walk a few times, mm, yeah, about four or five times before. The fucking traffic that they got down there, that's a dead end. They timed seven cars from a dead end on that road, coming out as I go to approach this area now. And there's another one. That's eight. That's, I've only ever seen two cars down there. That's eight. Well, I was going to say, on that road there is about 150 cars. The maximum I've ever seen on that road is uh, 120. And that's in an hour period. Right, so I went, I went down to a avoid, I went to a dead end and obviously there was a bike tying to an erection followed by um, someone uh, tying at uh, the hedge, um, tying to cough in my face and then there's obviously I'm being choked by a catalytic, a catalytic converter so obviously I'm back to where I was doing the recording previously walking to the um, road where I've only seen about 20 cars in one hour on it so I can't understand why there's been about 150 plus it's possibly more than that actually because uh, when I was mentioning earlier I had to walk back because I had to go back into the field because I couldn't get past. Take into account this is a dead end. Oh, no yeah, this is a supposed to be a dead end. I tried taking a picture of the moon um, after getting out the setups. But it looks like the camera doesn't want to, so God doesn't want me to get a picture of that. God wants sunny day pictures only. Sex in the sun. Jesus wants you to take pictures of nude people on the beach. Not the sort of pictures I take. But it looks like the bastard cursing my camera if I take anything that's different than that. Because the bastard's buckled, hell bent, and fucking locked into fucking destroying me into one fucking mode. There's nothing you can do about it. The creator's absolutely coarse. I've not been able to get to the road. 
Um, there's been about 30 loud bikes trying to run erections in the last uh, about 10 minutes or so. Um, basically, they're causing as much havoc and as much shit stirring, as much trouble, packing as many people as they possibly can to make it as busy as they possibly can in my path. So, when you're going in one direction, you go back the other way to avoid one problem and another problem occurs. So you go that side, another problem occurs, and you go that side, another problem occurs. So no matter what direction you go, something's going to happen, like someone will sneeze in your face, someone will cause some trouble, or a car will be trying to smash into you. It's like that. But this is not just every um, now and again. This can be hundreds of times per day where you're being controlled like this on the path. In that certain way where you can't go in any direction, where you're stuck in the middle and you just have to allow the sneeze or the problem to occur in your face. So you can't do nothing about it. For the last 30 days, apart from that Saturday, they've been doing it in that way where no matter what you do, you're going to have to face a problem every single part of the way. You can't walk out, you can't go anywhere without controlled movement in this fucked up, diabolic, fucking buckled arrangement that's being fucked up around me. So obviously, me walking back to Thorn House, back to my place, is not an option at the moment. Dog barks, you're being fucking beat up, you mongrel. And then someone says, you lost everything at your place is lost. You've had a, you're having a burglary or something like that. Um, I've written the paper, it's in my pocket. I can't remember the exact information because I'm getting fucking confused with all the fucking fucked up, buckled found fucking sounds at the sexual slaughter fucking tear apart creator gods fucking causing. Right, so there's been another seven loud bikes tying to my penis going up. So I'm not very happy about that. Right, I just wanted to mention that um, I was going to go back a little bit later than I was initially going to go back. So let me j just quickly go through this very quickly. The initial time I was going to go back if it was sunny would be anything from about four o'clock to eight o'clock in, in the evening. That would have been the time period if it's sunny, which it has been, it has been sunny. But obviously the force control around me is stopping me go absolutely, I can't stop, go absolutely fucking nowhere. It's just too packed and it'd be in control with everyone's movement in my, con controlled in a constructive, constructive form to stop me getting from B back to A. If it was cloudy, I would have gone back around about 10 o'clock to about half past 11. So it would have been just before drinking time or I would have had some drink just before I went back to chill out for the evening and had maybe a couple of more cans. I'm not exactly sure what time I'm going back because I didn't expect all this control force to be around me. But working on the principle of the weather, being sunny all day, my initial plan was actually to go back between 4 and 8 o'clock, which is no longer going to be possible because I just can't get anywhere. We just hit the edge of uh, nightfall to the darkest part of nightfall and I noticed that we're getting creepy atmosphere again which is uh, seems to be common at the moment so whether Yahweh is setting his demons on me I do not know Right so I decided I was going to take a different route back I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this yet because obviously it's very heavy but firstly there's a car trying to smash me up and obviously a car coming down the road and obviously there's another very cool that was coming aside and also a bike timed after that. As I come out to the next corner, there's a car timed out of a drive, and then I go around onto the road. A car timed to be angled into me on that little corner, and then after that, there's a car that's uh, reversing in. So I go past the car, and then the car comes from behind almost times to smash into me. Then I go to cross one of the roads. And they time a car to, to, to cut me up on the corner, basically. And it's just happened again. Sad, being shot dead. In that give it a fucking snobby accent. Gangster accent. Right, car cuts me up again on the corner, and then obviously I go towards the drive, and the car is timed unexpectedly to reverse out at speed, time and smash into me. Penis up loud bike, um, sick in the brain, sick as fuck, in the head, said, white sexual car over drink over. Seven just, life's lost, said, my name is not Seven, but I'm being mistaken as that. And then there's uh, been about 20 more cars steady flow 
all of them tied over drain cover and 90% set up to suggestion. Right, so the bus stops about three quarters of a mile away. There's been another 30 to 40 cars. There's been another car that's been reversing out at me, but this time I managed to see it before getting hit. Uh, while crossing, they tied cars cut me up from behind, going down that road on that corner. Yet again, there's been a few rough people in my direction. There's been two started cars, and there's been more drain covers hit over. Right, so someone's just photographed me. And uh, it's getting it's very difficult getting on that road as well. I've got several roads I've got to go on before I get to the main road, and they're just packing this. And I've got a van reversing at me. Thanks. Yeah, someone just uh, tried to hit me out of a drive. Again, speeding out of thing. Unexpectedly seeing it because the government's trying to hit me off with a creative god that is. They're giving me no option. I've got to go back to where I was. Um, they're just packing it too fucking heavy to do anything. Right, I've just stepped in dog shit because I can't see where I'm fucking going because I'm being fucking forced about and fucking pushed about by people and whatever else. Right, so I can't do nothing at all because I'm being controlled by fucking traffic flow. Take into account this is a road where you don't hardly get any traffic again. Well, you didn't going back in the summer when I first went down this road. Obviously, I know where this road goes. I didn't back in the summer, no. I never... Uh, discovered it but it goes on the actual main road and that's where you can get a bus but unfortunately they're just packing everything too fucking heavy for me to do absolutely fuck all so I'm fucking outnumbered I've got to go back where I was right the bus is packing the traffic and people in my direction too busy for me to look for a stick or a stone to get the shit out of my shoe right so I'm nearly back to the end of the road to go back down the track that I initially came out of to try and get out of this area so that I can walk on back. But unfortunately, I've had another car reverse up me at speed, coming out of a drive. I've had another corner where a car has come out at speed, unexpectedly, trying to smash me to pieces. Then there's been another 10 cars smashed over drain cover, and I've been choked by a catalytic converter. 10's just a rough number. It could be 8, it could be 12, is in that area. And then obviously, um, I get to the next area, and two cars are timed out of a road, and as I go to cross the next section, I didn't see that there was a bike coming, and then obviously I was avoiding the bike, and then a car was coming at speed from the other direction, causing me to nearly get hit there. Right, so I've made it back down the track. The last 45 seconds from the last recording to making it to this track, there wasn't actually any vehicles or people, luckily. But um, either way, wherever you go, I just couldn't do nothing. I can't get back on that. When you reach a main road, I went to go to the main road and I just had to turn it back. They were just packing it the heaviest I've fucking known it. Right, spit talking's just hit my lip by someone passing. They were polite. They said, all right, as I said, all right. But unfortunately, the spit from the talking went on my lip. Right, there's been many incidents in the past where I've not been able to get back or had to stay out for a short period of time especially if we go back before the year of 2003 or that year and before people were chasing me, I had to hide in people's gardens in some cases I had to knock on people's doors to uh, avoid a dangerous situation where this is being caused um, but um, they don't need to fucking put fucking traffic on a fucking road that's a dead end they did this on the same fucking road earlier hang on a second Right, so I'm putting my fucking nose right up the fucking exhaust pipe, right up the fucking catalytic converter vinegar smell fucking stench. Nothing I can do about it. The creator's just a buckled fucking bastard. Right, if I can get my fucking say, I mentioned what happened between the years of 2003, 2004 and before. Back in that time period, all my enemies, who were roughly my age, maybe a bit older, some a bit younger, they were going out or having sex with people as young as 8, 9, 10 and 11 and they're in sexual relationships with some of those people still to this day. Many of them were not to this day, but at least until they reached the age of about 30-ish. A lot of them have split up and they've got new girlfriends, and most of them have got younger age girlfriends as well. With me, I was very unlucky to get anything a fucking tool. I've had nothing in my whole life. The nearest you can get to anything in my whole life is this fucking Wayne argument. 
I'm not going to go into a documentary about that. I've uh, done many documentaries regarding that many years ago, and it's very difficult to explain. It's very sly the way people use this as a good excuse to start war with me. But um, anyway, let's get to the next thing, shall we? From about 2005 onwards, basically when I moved to Bridgewater, I moved to West Street, this is when all this organised force was set up against me. But it got heavier and heavier through time, obviously. Now they've managed to fuck up appointments and stop me going to appointments, yes, they have. And obviously, on the times that they've rescheduled those appointments, luckily it hasn't happened again where they fucked it up a second time on a specific appointment, like, the, like a dental appointment or something like that. It could be anything, but they have messed up a first time for one specific appointment, and it's getting nastier and it's getting worse as the days go on. There's been many times where I've um, almost missed the last bus home because they caused the buses before that to be late, which in some ways you could put down to setups. But uh, my dad's managed to pick me up in those time periods when I have missed a bus. In total, it's been no more than about five times. There's a possibility it might have been slightly over that, but I don't think it has. I take that away, no more problems. Obviously, you've had setups, you've had control movement force around me, and you've had it as packed as anything to stop me getting from A to B or back from B to A. But um, that's just the way it is. The very first time movement control around me known as setups or control force has actually physically stopped me getting back home started in 2022 there's been six occasions but five of those occasions are in the last three months so obviously I'm on this dead end road and I'm fucking getting pissed off because I won't stop putting cars in my direction there's not actually supposed to be any cars are fucking tall on this road this is why I went down here to do this recording but anyway, so in 2022, there was no buses, so in some fucking way, there's a logical reason why I couldn't get back rather than setups causing it, because of heavy controlled fucking force against me. So, um, that's that. I'm still on this dead end road, I haven't moved, I'm still next to this gate, look, and I can't do nothing because there's too many setups. I've got to go down here because obviously this is just too much control around me. You know, the government won't stop it. Yeah, just uh, um, come down here to uh, get some break from the road. Uh, to get some uh, space from the road. I'm just going for a walk. Nowhere really, just walking about. What are you wandering about for? Because I was just doing a walk. Walking where, mate? We're sort of in the fields, on the roads and all that. What are you walking for? Just to get in a general walk, like a normal walk. What are you writing down? Just my daily problems. Yeah. Alright. Right, so that person has just, uh, fuck's sake, because I'm down a dead end. It was possibly private, I don't know. Now we've got another car coming down this road. This is what I mean, the government are causing this. So, and another car. There's a dead end. As, as you could hear, that bloke was wondering what I was doing down there. Car up on car down this fucking road and the government won't stop it, or the creator god. 102, 102's fuck all to fuck. And the colours of those are white and sick. So that's the creator god being fucking malice. Right, can I continue with what I wanted to say? Right, basically, all these problems where they stop me getting back, <sighs> With all this control force against me, has only happened since July 2024. Apart from that one occasion in 2022, all the rest of 2024. And on those occasions, I've ended up walking to the 24 hour garage to get my alcohol before I have the ability to walk back without the government or the Creator God packing the road and stacking the people in my direction too heavy for me to get from A to fucking B and back from B to A again. So, uh, that's how heavy they're setting it up. And the last 30 days, apart from the Saturday I mentioned, that's just gone, 
is the heaviest force against me of controlling every morning's movement packed solid around me is the, is the, uh, the heaviest they've ever caused it in the whole history of setups that have occurred on me including at Christmas at the busiest times they're getting they're fucking doing it on purpose or the creator god is one of the two and I just can't get anywhere at all because of it no offence, but I shouldn't even be back where I started. But the road's so packed and the setups are so heavy with people in my direction and roughneck people and threats and whatever else that they've pushed me back in the other direction. So I'm going down here to try and look for an alternative way back. But when I got to the actual road, the road I was on about earlier, where I've only seen the maximum of 20 cars in one hour and earlier I saw over 150 and it's continuing. Um... I went to go towards the other end, but then I realised that they're having a rugby match or a football match and I don't want to get in past there because the last time I passed there, the last actual time I passed there, there was fucking arguments kicking off to smash me to fucking pieces, mistaking me as Savannah and saying I'm a child rapist. And it just wasn't one or two people saying it, it's only perhaps passing the gate. This was when I was walking in the barrack direction. And I mean, it got fucking nasty, and I mean really, really nasty. So that's why I'm not passing there. And also, the traffic flow on that road, as you go up there, is packed fucking solid to the fucking hill. God, God's playing fucking spiteful. So, seagulls or bird, whatever, is talking the same. Breaking in, sad cunt, misery, Justin. But it's being done repeatedly. And obviously, when I push record, it comes to a stop. What's that dog barking? Right, so after I left that field, I went back to that road, and they needed to time three more cars. I don't know if that road's private or not. That uh, person who uh, spoke to me in the car made the suggestion it could be, so... But either way, they timed another three cars, and it's the only three cars that have occurred since I was last uh, terrorised by traffic on that road before I went into the field. When I reached the next part of the road, which is the other road, where I said I've only seen about 20 cars maximum in one hour, today I had about 150 earlier, but if you continued the amount that's occurred this evening there was a further 20 cars roughly or just under 20 cars doing about a minute and a half walk two minute walk from the turning to where I am now and believe it or not those 20 cars or whatever are the only cars that have been on that road in the last five minutes since I've been sitting here doing this recording mentioning the setups that have occurred so it's been sneakily timed and constructed and arranged to be around me in particular and I'm getting fucked off with it. This is shit stirring, causing trouble and causing havoc. Right so I've been sitting down for about roughly six to eight minutes something like that I'm not sure the exact amount of time. In that time there's not been a single car on that road where 20 cars were suddenly s set up timed as I reached that road earlier on just before I came down this section where I am now. Right, it's time for the threats. Oh, what's causing that? If I can get it, that is. There we are. Fuck, I won't say what has just been said, but that's another threat that's been occurring, and it's quite a frequent threat now, in fact. Right, so I'm approaching that road. There's not been a single car on there in the 15 minutes I've been pissing about down that track, so let's see what happens now, shall we? Obviously that's the first one. I've had to return back to the path. Um, so initially what happened was, is about 20 seconds, I did, you did make about 20 seconds or so, without any more vehicles. And straight after that, you had another two. That was fine. And then it just went into a build up of traffic and then eventually I was forced back down there. Cars stopping to let other cars pass. I was being choked up by a catalytic converter. In total you had about... Um, Actually, it's hard to count, actually. Um, if I was to guess, about 40 cars. They're mixed with vans as well. Um, but the problem is, it's more a case of not the quantity, it's the fact that everyone's stopping, they're started, you're being choked by a catalyst. And eventually, I had to come back down here. And it took about four minutes to piss about there to get back to where I am now because of this issue. I could have gone a bit further, you know, I could have tried, but the problem is, I really am not in the mood for all this fucking organised force around me. I mean, the road's gone dead quiet again. I've been down this path, about three minutes, 
and there hasn't been a single car. As soon as I approach that specific road, it's, being, it's like it's being caused. It's like it's, I'm not doing it on purpose. When I go there, I'm trying to get to the road and it just suddenly occurs. I don't know what's causing it. But I'm getting pissed off of it. You've got one car, I can air it. Where it's not being caused where I'm not down there. But, you know, what's causing it? Whatever that animal is. It started off saying you're being busted having a break in, Justin. And then it went into that normal sound that I'd managed to audio record. Just to discuss the weather, I've just spoken to my dad's side of the family, or his partner or whatever, and it's actually been cloudy with no sun whatsoever today, so that's interesting isn't it that it's been blue skies and sunny where only where I am. I spoke to my mother and she said there has been a bit of sun, but um, either way, uh, it's always it's always sunny where I am. There's never there's never cloudy days or overcast weather. Quite literally, 365 days a year. The last four years, I mean, there's only been about six days, 24 six to 24 hour days worth of cloudy weather for the 365 days that occurred in 2023. In 2022 you had about three weeks maybe, maybe yeah roughly three weeks but I worked that out in 12 hour days not 24 hour days but uh, it could be possibly a bit more for most people it would be about six weeks however it's mostly torrential rainstorms followed by blue skies and sunshine. 2023 was a lot sunnier than 2022 and I was moaning about 2022. January, August possibly, or late August to September, and December were the dullest months of 2022. 2023 quite literally it's blue skies all year round with sunshine maybe the occasional torrential rainstorm cloud for other people but not for me 2024 you've had the equivalent to well taking away the time period I staying at my dad's um, basically um, the 2nd of April you have three two or three 15 minute periods of sunshine before it clouded over again and when it clouded over it stayed cloudy and then obviously it was sunny for the last 45 minutes of that day. Then it was basically sunny, maybe a couple of hazy sunshine mornings here and there, but the sun was still pretty bright, it was bright days. We had about maybe six days of it or whatever. Six, 12 hour days maybe. That a push, I don't know if you even reach that. Um, take that away, it's mostly torrential rainstorms mixed with sunshine. So there's been about 70 torrential rainstorms or heavy rainstorms and they're never more than a couple of minutes and it's been sunny at the same time that they occurred. And then the other rainstorms that occurred was um, with a bit of cloud but like I said they only lasted about a few minutes. And then obviously take that away, it's been sunny every single day but you did have a quarter of a day of uh, cloudy weather and hazy sunshine in the second week of July and on the other day you had 45 minutes of cloudy weather and the rest of the day sunny. You had 10 minute torrential rainstorms uh, later in July or August. You had about two or three of them. Take that away, it's been blue skies and sunshine each and every single day um, right up till um, last week where you had five days where you had a, up to a quarter and near enough on some days you almost had half a day of cloudy weather without the sun coming up. You didn't quite get half a day but almost. Uh, most of those days, those five days where it was grey cloud, again it was circling me and they were causing it to be sunny where I am. So for me, working it on, uh, on the principle of those days, you had a quarter of a day on the first of those cloudy five days just under a quarter on the second day but it's very spaced out so there's a lot of sunshine and you had that sort of cloud but when that cloud came over 
it was the equivalent to just under a quarter of a day. Then you had a half a day period on the third day I think it was and then sunny for the rest of the day. Um, just over a quarter on the next day and on that fifth day just under a quarter. On the Sunday morning of this week you had hazy sunshine for the first 10 minutes and basically 45 minutes of hazy sunshine basically I wouldn't say it's gone cloudy I'm not sure it's hard to say um, I didn't really take much notice of the starting period but then it was sunny for the rest of that day and it's been sunny every single day since take that away there's been no other cloudy rainy weather for the whole of 2024 apart from no no I got that no I think every single day of January 2024 was blue skies and sunshine if I remember the same for February when I went to my dad's there was a bit of cloud but again when I went to my dad's between February before I came back in late March back to mine that's probably cloudier in the time period I was at my dad's than you've had of any cloudy weather since I've been back home in Yeovil it's quite literally the 2nd of April those two uh, days in July the 10 minute days of torrential rainstorms several days of that and the five quarter days of cloud and one half a day of cloud or whatever you want to call it that's just occurred last week that's the only cloudy weather for the whole of 2024 Bust in. Bust in. let's see uh, some other crowd I'm trying to just write that down a minute um, sick cunt having a break in Sick cunt being stabbed with HIV just said. I can't say this for certain because I haven't always been near the road, but I don't recall there being, apart from that one vehicle that I mentioned earlier, or, or, or one vehicle when I tried reapproaching that road, I don't actually b think I've heard a single car on that road. So it's very interesting that all these cars or vehicles are being set up when I approach that road. I mean, I can't guarantee that. But I haven't heard any. Justin Langford and a screen to go, set to go, yeah! And then dead, sad. Dead mate shot dead, poses as a boy said. So obviously I've not heard many cars down this road any at all, to be fair, none. And as soon as I reach the road again, I bought this road for about three minutes, and there's been seven cars, which has included a knife shaped and a sexual car. Most are grey and white colour cars. So and a clean lorry written on the side of it and a grey car. grey sexual black and blue and I can't see what's behind that car right so I've been mistaken as Savan um, being fucking smashed in and I can't remember what the threat is now I didn't manage to write it down because my hands are cold because of the temperatures outside and obviously 
there's been two cars on this stretch which is average but the good news is I managed to get to where I couldn't get earlier I mean it's a lot more packed earlier so it's a case of uh, deciding whether to make the choice to go home now rather than later so I'm just gonna think I'll fuck his wash his fucking body up <laughs> the, the fucking child rapist claiming he's not so then said and someone says I'm gonna fucking knife him I can't clearly make out what the argument is and I've had to leave the um, cemetery because uh, the people that are playing football um, or uh, whatever they're doing are having arguments it looks like the uh, previous match that took place ended and they put another one on and that's where the trouble's going on just a suspicion I'm not 100% sure um, sounds like they're having a game of football anyway or something like that but uh, either way it's definitely coming with information of what I can clearly hear when I was walking past as threats Some of what's being shouted during the match doesn't sound like it's part of clique, isn't it? Part of it's connected to the football, and you can hear that the threats are being shouted at the same time. Blind you, X ray, child molester. Um, that's what's being said by the footballers. I didn't manage to get it in time. Trip limbo whistles. And saying whistled, I couldn't make out what was whistled. And breaking in said. I decided on going back, um, I was going to stay out until a bit later, if it was cloudy that was, I'm not, so initially, um, I'm not far off my target, I said between 4 and 8 I want to be back if it's sunny, and it's only half past 8 at this minute in time, and when I get back it'd be around roughly about 9pm, so only an hour out, but uh, you know, when you're being pissed about the force against you, trying to get from one place to another is not very easy. And obviously, when your movement's controlled in this fucked up way, you know, it's, it's not good. Right, so I made it past a catalytic converter hot point. There's four cars in total. And now I'm hoping I can get back. Right, so I made it past a catalytic converter hot point and across the field. I didn't actually walk into a car coming down off the track. I don't know how they're doing it, but I managed to get a car almost every single time I pass there. Yeah, there's probably only one or two cars that go up there every day. Five at a maximum. So, yeah, that's interesting. But they still managed to do it. So it's very sneaky and very clever how they do it. But this road, let's just calm down a little bit at the moment. They could go either way. But at the moment, we had about 100 cars on it. So, um... I don't know what the colour of the cars are, I haven't looked to see what the suggestion is and there's been a couple of loud bike issues as well so um, obviously when I get into the town I should probably leave this on audio record to get the evidence of the problems that are going to be set up or controlled around me there I mean I don't have it sort of, I'm not really sort of in a sort of knowing what I'm doing this evening to be fair if it was cloudy I'd probably be going back about 10ish to half 11 but um, like I say I, I, I didn't I'm not really having it planned and also 
you know, it's, there's only been sunny in the Oval. The rest of the areas, or people in other areas, my mum said it's been sunny, but everywhere else across the country, it's pretty much been cloudy all day. So they've been circling me with sexual weather. More bow whistles. Um, black sec car and um, um, what's the other one? Uh, head case trial molester said. Fucking tripping over that fucking log. Right, so I've been down this path another four minutes and you're coming up to about 150 cars which is for this time in the evening just above average uh, but I have known it a lot lot heavier especially in the month of December in 2022 I've known it to be almost gridlock so um, just a moderate flow basically I couldn't make out the threat. The smell of flu as well. Path's getting dangerous. This uh, path to post a barrack, or at least to the top. You, your foot keeps on nearly twisting your foot because the path's coming away. That's where people have done work cutting trees down. And in general, where mud slides, is, well not mud slides, but you know where walking's caused uh, this issue to occur. So as I expected, it's not looking good. So there's going to be trouble obviously, and there's going to be a whole load of setups. So obviously I'm going to leave this on record in a minute, but let's get to the bottom of it. Says dead child molester, you're weird and nearly test up in a cow pack while trying to state that problem because obviously the creator god's corrupt and an outright malicious bastard named Yahweh That's right, slide and get soaking wet for you, that's right Slip and slide Get soaking wet for you There's a photo taken of me, I didn't hear what was said because it's in foreign language but it came out to be a pose as a threat and then obviously vehicles passed to stop me getting the audio evidence I've got to start a catalytic inverters up here, which even the staff have said that should be very, very, very rare if at all. But, like I said, everyone's movement is around me, 